Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of the 2016 Hyundai Veloster. In this video review, I'll be going over the features of the interior and exterior of the car, as well as talking to you about some of the engine specs. Now, this is a quick look at the back end of the car. You can see the cool exhaust tips over there, and the white coloring of the paint contrasts nicely with the red taillights and those red reflectors towards the bottom, as well as the silver Hyundai and Veloster logos. They look absolutely awesome and i like the dark tints on this vehicle as well now the overall styling of this vehicle is so unique and and it looks really really sporty now here's a quick look at the interior and i'll be stepping in there in just a few moments you can see that the front of the vehicle is quite spacious and everything looks nice and modern and sleek now in just a moment i'm going to step into the driver's side seat of the car the front driver's side seat of the car and this is sort of what it looks like if you were about to drive the car you can see that all of the control on the steering wheel and around the steering wheel are easy to access easy to understand the door panel is quite simple um, there's as you can see the door handle right there is very interesting looking and I like the way Hyundai has incorporated some quirky little interior details in the car now the center console you can see is very symmetrical everything's easy to access for both the driver and the passenger I like the start stop button being right there in the center it looks really sporty and also this is the uh, six speed manual transmission in the car now with regards to engine specs this uh this version of the car has the 1.6 liter inline four engine that produces about 130 horsepower but there's an option for a turbo engine which adds about 70 horsepower to the mix which brings the total with the turbo engine to about 200 horsepower this is a look at the back seats of the car they're pretty spacious i do have to say that i went and sat back there and there was a decent amount of room now i'm only about five seven and a half so i'm not super Super, super tall but they are much bigger than they actually look and the seats are definitely pretty deep now in just a moment we're going to take a look at the top right over here has a very interesting look to it and i like the size of that opening at the top it really allows it to feel almost like a convertible to a certain degree because it's a good opening and it lets you allow it allows lots of air to enter the car for fresh air so if you don't want to roll the windows down you can just open the top right there now here's a quick look at the wheels now i like these wheels because they're alloy wheels with painted inserts over there they look absolutely awesome i like the black and sort of silver contrasting colors it really adds to the flavor of the car and it adds to the fact that the car has this very unique distinctive styling and looks really really sporty now this is a quick look at the front end of the car it looks absolutely awesome i like the fact that it looks very very round and it's pretty consistent with hyundai's other cars from the 2016 lineup it looks pretty sporty but once again it has a distinctive unique look to it towards the front and this is a look from the passenger side of the vehicle once again the door panel is really simple and i like the interesting quirky door handle over there the speakers are nice and almost hidden they they blend in nicely with the door panel and everything is just super easy to access from the passenger side as well and you can see there's that interesting little little piece towards the center uh towards the center console right there you can see that silver piece it's an, another interesting little quirky interior feature and that's basically it in this video i have done a review of the 2016 hyundai veloster once again it's available with a 1.6 liter inline four engine with about 130 horsepower or a turboed version of an engine with about 200 horsepower i've gone over the interior and exterior features and i hope that you have enjoyed this video and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching